What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm here with my brand new Hamilton Beach breakfast burrito maker. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing on that. I know some of you guys um, may be thinking of getting this thing and I know they make a sandwich maker but this is the burrito breakfast maker, right? And shout out to my um, Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Um, that's where I learned about this product. Um, a couple of people in there were buying it and I just felt, you know, I just followed suit and I said, well, I love burritos. Not too sure about breakfast burritos, although I'm going to make a breakfast burrito right after this video as a courtesy to the company because that's what they're going, you know, that's what they're labeling this a breakfast burrito maker. But I'll make and I'm going to I'm going to make like three or four other videos in the next two weeks making lunch and dinner burritos because that's when I eat burritos. I don't really eat them for breakfast, but hey. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and open the box and see what we got. All right. So, the manual is right there. Cool. stuff out okay I don't know what I'm doing but I'm just taking the stuff out and I'm assuming this comes off somehow come on time is money let's go all right well I'll take that off later this little thing is stuck on there but I'll get that off um, Hamilton Beach uh, yeah we don't need to have something sticking on there like this but we got it off safely. I would have hate to some for some of it to stick on there. <laughs> All right. The back of it. The bottom of it. No big deal. Cord's a little short. Not really in love with that. I'll get that off later, but the cord is, I wouldn't, it's not long. Let's just put it that way for sure. That's all right. It's a small appliance, so hey. Let's go ahead and take that off too. All right, so let's open it up. Okay, so I can slide this out. Slide that back in can lift it up and there's another ring here so I guess this is where your your tortilla will go and um, this is what I have six inch but that's where that would go <clears throat> I'm assuming and then you can kind of swing that out so your egg would go in there and then when it's done you kind of swing this out then the egg will drop and then you lift up and then take it away that's what I'm assuming is gonna happen cool Next question I would ask if I was you, can I take this off and is this dishwasher safe? The answer is yes. Well, you can take this off and it comes off very easily. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. See, I take this off and I can put this in my dishwasher. I, I would put it in like that so you can make sure everything gets washed. So that's cool, guys. And finally, I'm going to plug it in just to see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like when I turn it on. Um, this does not have an on and off switch, so you will have to plug it out to turn it off. Um, so that's red. I guess if I hit... Okay, just going up in fives. 
So it goes up to 10. 10 minutes is the longest you can um, make your stuff in. So, okay. So how do I stop it? Okay, I guess I have to plug it out. All right. Let me do that. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. But actually, before I go, I, on my unboxings, I do open up the manual and just see something that might stand out that we're supposed to do. That I probably would overlook. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. Number one, plug cord into wall outlet. The red power light will glow. Lightly spray rings with nonstick cooking spray before each use. Good to know. Another good one here. It says, no, green preheat light will come on when unit is heated to the correct temperature and will cycle on and off during cooking. It is not an indicator when the burrito is ready. Red power light stays on. Okay, good to know. So basically, you'll know when it's ready when because you have to set a timer. So you have to set a time. And whether, I mean, from what I've seen, it's like, you know, four to four and a half minutes to make your burrito. And when that time, you know, elapses, then you just, it'll beep. And then that's when you'll know to take it off. Okay, this is a good one since you're still here. When making more than one burrito, always wait two minutes between cooking burritos to ensure the breakfast burrito maker is heated to the correct temperature. That's cool. Good to know. And finally, what we all want to know, yes, it is top rack dishwasher safe. <clears throat> but it also gives you tips on how to wipe it down and stuff but I'll let you guys I don't want to steal all the thunder from you guys so definitely check that out anywho that was the unboxing of my Hamilton Beach breakfast burrito maker machine hope you like it hit like if you like it remember to subscribe and again keep it locked here because I'll be doing uh, about four burrito videos and then you know I'll leave the rest up to your imagination on what you need to do next but um, stay tuned for my videos on that. And like I said, I'm going to do a video right now um, doing a breakfast burrito. So definitely at least uh, check that out. And um, you know what I'll do? I'll even put that in the description after when I do that video. I'll come back and put it in the description of this video. But anyway, thanks for looking at my video, guys. I'm out.